Hello, I'm Daniel Brown and welcome to another version of 130 Ground Hoppers. Well, it's not another version, it's just the Macclesfield version. Macclesfield against Port Vale in a Cheshire Staffordshire Derby for this international break weekend. I'm joined here with Mr. Slimline himself. Or should I say Mr. Don't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what's your score prediction for the game at Moss Road? It's going to be an interesting game, isn't it? Because we played each other only three weeks ago, I think, in the cup, which Paul Bale will freeze in. So, Maxfield, not in great form, are they? Maxfield. Um, they not weren't believe. before, and then they got a 0 0 draw at Cambridge. Not too bad. I, I, I still think Paul Bale might just have a bit too much for him. So, I'm going to go with a Maxfield 2 0. That was now Maxfield fans here, I'm sorry. Paul Bale 1. 1,600 visitors. Really? Boring. Wonders away with. And I think it's going to be Macclesfield Town 2, Port Vale 2. So you think it's going to be a draw? Draw, yeah. We'll see you at Tom Pope right. to score the winner. And Lee. Not Peter Wright. So, food review. We're going to do a Thug Dad food, food review. Meat and potato pies. How is lovely, it? lovely, yeah. Um, nice, goes nice with a stout. Ten. Good, good eight. Good eight. Good eight. Good eight. I'd, I'm not going to lie, but I'd give a few other things a good eight as well. Like what? Um, like, well, as the viewers will be able to see at the moment. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're back at kickoff. Someone just said it's going to hit the first man. I bet it does as well. Oh, maybe not. It's going to come back in though. Here we go. I'm not thinking about coronation. There's a free kick to Port Vale. I bet you want it to go in as well, don't you? Perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps. It's going to be David Wattle. If this man walks in front of me now, like, keep going. Keep going. Right Give him a chance, he's 20 odds now. David Worrell. Good. Here you are. Thank you. Can I join him and celebrate? Three header, four defending. Another free kick for Port Vale, can it be another goal? Not this time. Go on. Jesus Christ. I thought it was too far for a shot, but he did well. He did well as well. It's a lot of wells, right? It is. I bet they've had about that seven quarters. Yeah. Six quarters. They're just shit from them. He takes one, man. Can he do this one?
Yeah, yeah. Oh, time, one one. I think it's been a pretty yeah. enjoyable game, to be yeah. honest. Both teams have been pretty poor at the yeah. back. Um, I think Port Vale started really well. Yeah. Got a goal. Back to yeah. a finish strong. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think I didn't feel I was going to score at the time. They got a good goal. It's all to play for the second half. It's anybody's game. Pretty good game, to be honest. We've watched a lot of League Two games which have been really poor. This is, a, I mean, this is pretty poor quality. There's been two goals. There's been incidents. So you know what I mean? We can't really complain. No. It's only half time. Yeah, it's the start to the second half. The ball's not there then. <laughs> it is, it's there. I can't see a ball there. No. There's the ball, there's the ball. <laughs> Go on. Get it back. Bobby's in there. Yes. What's he going to do? Is he going to shoot or is he going to... No, he's passing him. He's going to shoot. shoot. Oh, Tracy, stop it. <laughs> anyway, we're currently on Coronation Street. Are you right, Ken? Yeah. I'll come in, in, I'll come in the Malvers in a minute. Get Peter to put me a point. <laughs> he doesn't work there anymore. <laughs> Jenny and Jenny and Johnny now. Anyway, Macclesfield 2, Port Bay 1, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it's it a really entertaining game, to be honest. It's a yeah. feisty game, to be honest. A few, a few heavy tackles going in for both teams, I must say. Mm. I thought Port Bay, first half, not the whole first half, but I thought for the first half of the first half, if you get what I mean, yeah. I thought they pretty much were in control, really. They got the goal, you know what I mean? They, and they looked at danger, but Macclesfield, you know, never really had a, a, ch a chance really and then suddenly out the blue they equalise and then they, they finish the half strongly and it's 1-1 one, one. it's all to play for in the second half and then I thought it was a bit scrappy for the first 10-15 minutes of the second half nothing really happening 
but then I just thought Max, even before they got the second goal, Max and I just thought they were the better team, and then they got the second goal, and I just thought they dominated the game mm. for the remaining 20 minutes or so after they got the second goal. And I thought it was a deserved victory. It's a big win. They haven't won in two months. It's a big, big yeah. win for them. So they have now. It's a big win, yeah. I thought overall they deserved it. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, we weren't the best football, but it was, it was an entertaining It game. was a League 2 game, that's what happened. We've been to so many League 2 games in the last year, and it's been, yeah. it's been a million times worse than that, so... Yeah. You know, that, was, that was a good League 2 game we've been to today, so... You know, it was good atmosphere mm. from both sets of fans. Especially the visitors, they brought a lot of fans, so they're, they'll be disappointed. Mm. But it was a big win for the whole team, the Silkman. It was a good match, and I thought, overall, oh, well, they deserved it. They did. Um, it's, so a nice, le- it's a nice ground. Yes, yeah, nice. that leaves Macclesfield in 12th and Port Vale in 3rd. It was a nice ground. 6,000 capacity, we had about 4,000 there. I don't think there'll be much between them. At the end, of the, the end of the season, I don't think there'll be many points between both of the clubs. Mm. So, two evening match teams on the day, Macclesfield, I thought, deserved the win. Yeah. And we'll be back tomorrow as well for a game at St Andrews between Coventry and Tranmere in League One, which will be interesting yes and there is, there is one thing to say before we go. actually there's two things to say two yeah first it's about the referee what what referee is most famous peter voice is obviously yeah but what, what do you want to say what do you want to say, what do you want to say about peter right i'm not swearing i'm no, not saying peter Oh yeah, just to mention as well for the Port Vale substitute Jordan Archer, former Stavis player, very good player. I wish him the best of luck. And who else? For Port Jake, Vale. Jake. Jake. Yeah. What's your second name? Jake Taylor. On loan from Nottingham uh, yeah. Forest. You should remove one of your Prospect. friends on Facebook so you can have me. <laughs> What's that? It's yeah. got five fairs in limit. Very popular. It's got a uh, a lot of potential. Yeah. And the other thing you've got to say. <laughs> Two goals again today for the season. He's on fire. He is on fire. Ben Bow's on fire. Ben Bow's on fire. He's on Yeah. So, we'll see you tomorrow. David Prophet Dental, Richard Ammon would like to go there.